Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the diagnosis methods of Down syndrome. This video is sponsored by Ewing Academy. Most of the diagnosis methods are done prenatally or before the baby is even born. We can do a variety of tests to estimate the chance of the fetus having Down syndrome and sometimes we can have a definitive diagnosis. We start with the least invasive, which is a maternal blood sample. We'll take a sample of the mother's blood during pregnancy and we'll test it. This is known as the quad test. We look for alpha fetoprotein, estriol, HCG, and inhibin A. An increase in HCG and inhibin A indicates high chance of the fetus having Down syndrome. The second test, which is also not invasive, is ultrasound, which is also known as sonogram. This is typically done in the first trimester, and if the ultrasound showed increased nuchal translucency and hypoplastic nasal bones, both of these signs indicate high chance of the fetus having Down syndrome. Now both of these tests, the maternal blood and the ultrasound, are not very specific. They can give you a high probability or chance of Down syndrome. But if you want a more specific test, you'll have to go invasive. And the first invasive test is chorionic villus sampling. This is typically done in the first trimester in around the week number 10 all the way to week number 14. During this test, we take a sample of the placenta, which has many cells of the fetus, and then we analyze the karyotype of the fetal cells to see if they have the characteristics of Down syndrome. This is of course highly accurate and definitive. UN Academy is the largest Indian teaching platform. They have a variety of interesting topics and courses, and recently they have extended their courses to include topics for the USMLE and the Step 1 exam. The USMLE course checks all the important marks, including recognized names like Dr. Najib and Dr. Raj, and of course many other skilled teachers. It has more than 800 recorded lectures and comprehensive videos. Unlike all good courses, they also have their own QBank with more than 3,000 questions and 300 review videos. For a limited time only, the course will have 75% discount with an additional 10% discount if you use my coupon AMAD10. Once you purchase the course once, you will have free access for a full year. And the final test is the amniocentesis, which is also invasive but not as much as the coronary sampling. We do this at the second trimester and around the week number 15 all the way to week number 20. We simply insert a needle and take some of the fluids around the baby. By analyzing the fluid, we can give a probability of having Down syndrome. If the results showed low alpha fetoprotein ratio between the amniotic fluid and the maternal serum, this indicates very high chance of having Down syndrome. Keep in mind, the latter two cases that we just mentioned, being chorionic villus sampling and amniocentesis, are invasive, but their accuracy can be as high as 100%. But they both carry a risk of miscarriage in about 1% of cases. So it is very accurate, but at the same time it's kind of risky. If the baby is already delivered, you can simply take a blood sample and analyze the karyotypes looking for features of Down syndrome. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.